there everyone welcome back to Animal Crossing with me Austin John plays it's the same day that the video that you saw yesterday came out and I decided that I wasn't done looking for villagers yet so then we used about 20 more Nook Miles tickets and and it didn't go well so I decided to stream on Twitch shameless plug twitch TV Austin John plays and I was like I literally had on screen all the villagers that I want to get and someone was like I have Lucky, and Lucky's in boxes. And then my my entire life just flashed before my eyes because Lucky was moving out. And Lucky, I'd like to talk to you. Have I met you before? I'm Lucky. Nice to meet you. I know we just met, but I'm moving tomorrow. That's right. I'm leaving this island. Huh, huh. Of course, I still need to decide where I'm moving to. I love this island, but I feel like I ought to explore. Like the wind. I saw a thing on TV about the wind. Did you know the wind goes all over the world? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did know that. Thank you, though. I didn't know that. Okay, well, there's a first time for everything. I want to know what else I don't know. So I'm going to be like the wind and explore the world. Maybe someday I'll come back and I'll tell you what I learned. Bye, Austin John. Uh, how about you come to my island? You live on place, huh? I've heard that place is a blast. Okay, I'm gonna to talk to your resident services and ask if I can move there. He is so precious. Thanks for waiting. I asked resident services on plays and they said, I can move there. Yay. Starting tomorrow, we're neighbors, Austin John. Let's hang out every day and talk to bugs and eat snacks. You're gonna be friends with Bo. I know it. Snacks? <laughs> Where'd I put my snacks? That's what I'd yell if I didn't have 32 bags of snacks on me right now. We are gonna be friends. You and me, Lucky. You and me. I wanna, I wanna get in, get in nice and, nice and tight. Nice and tight, Lucky. Nice and tight for the thumbnail. There you go. Uh, since it's now technically May 1st, can we get the May Day ticket? Or does it come at 5 a.m.? You're not gonna acknowledge that it's May 1st? Nope, you're not. Okay. Our first scorpion. Just calm down there, buddy. All right. Yeet. Yes. I caught a scorpion. It was a sting operation. But it's May 1st, so we're going to be able to get our May Day ticket. Good morning, Butterpup. Good morning, everyone. Right now on plays, it's 1040 AM on Friday, May 1st. Today is May Day. I hope you'll swing by resident services to learn about our special May Day tickets. Nook no is giving them out as a way to express their appreciation for our fun little island community. It'll be amazing! You'll take a trip to a faraway island, get a little rest and relaxation, but isn't that why you moved here? Anyways, it's going to be all sorts of fun, so don't forget to speak with Mr. Nook. Now for additional announcements, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big plays welcome to Lucky. Congratulations, Lucky. I'm sure you'll enjoy life here. And with that, I'll be getting back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Thanks, Isabel. Uh, by the way, Big Brother came down on me on my Teespring account and was like, yeah, uh, you can't do Good Morning Butterpup with Isabel's face. Good Morning Butterpup now has a revamped design and it's adorable. So go check that out at austinjohnplays.com slash merch. Thanks. Before I even look at my flowers, which I'm very excited for as I literally walk past my flowers. Oh yeah, got a bunch of things. Oh, Flick is here. What up, Flick? Oh, it's damn. Purple tulips. Okay, we're done with tulip breeding. Let's go get our Nook Miles ticket. Our, our Mayday ticket. Yesterday was Nook Miles tickets, and oh, that was a lot of them. Trash Panda, let's talk. I'll wager you're here to grab a Mayday ticket. I'm handing them out as part of our Mayday celebration. Speaking of which, it's time for a little pop quiz. Do you know why we're celebrating Mayday? I may. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You are a wise one, Austin John. Yes, yes. May Day is a day where we express our gratitude for those who work hard. Although I suppose my May Day event is more about play than work. I'm sure you've been enjoying leisurely island life here as well. Dude, I have been working 24-7. I've spent 415 hours terraforming this damn island for you, Trash Panda. 
and making it beautiful. However, I can't help but think but all the support I've gotten from our wonderful island residents. It truly be said, a lot of hard work has gone into making this island great. As a thank you, Nook Incorporated has created a special tour for island residents. Yes, yes, I call it Mayday Tour. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the recreational activities I've planned. So take this opportunity to hop on a plane, take a trip, and unwind after all your hard work. May 7th is the last day you can use it. Do, do we only have the one ticket? We can only go to this thing once? Oh, it's you. Good timing. I got a Mayday ticket from Tom Nook with Austin John written on it. Which makes it yours. A special trip to a faraway island. It's all organized by Tom Nook. As for what awaits you there, you'll have to find out. You'll have to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all your belongings here at the counter. You're taking all my stuff and my tools? You're at Mayday Tour Island. Now, this tour is different from most. The whole island's a giant maze. Nothing in aerial view wouldn't help, but that's not why we're here. And this is a navigation tour, you copy? The point is to find your way through. We've stowed your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start with this mission with empty wings or hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. If you get stuck or grounded or whatever, just hit the rescue service on your phone. What's this? It's a shovel. Solid. So I could definitely use the shovel to remove that. Ooh. I obviously can't go that way yet. I can uproot the tree with the one orange that I have. I can't go that way because that's how the water is. So yes, I have to go this way with my orange. Oh, and you can only jump straight across that way. That's neat. Okay. So if I use an orange on that tree, I get two oranges in return. There's three wood over here. Hey, there's a kitty cat over there. This is not a very big maze. I don't feel that worried. Ooh, there's a DIY down there. For some reason, I thought I couldn't jump where this tree branch was, but I can. And I just got a worn axe. Oh, I've heard about the worn axe. I think it has a durability of three. So it only works to cut down one tree. It looks just like a regular axe, but I can hit that three times. It'll break. Yep. Durability of three. And now we can come grab these two oranges. This is a fun little maze. We'll sack one orange right here to grab this tree up to go get two oranges. We could use an orange to break this rock because we see an orange right below it. Ooh, there's two DIYs. For a flimsy axe and an axe. Uh, before I craft a flimsy axe, I still need... That iron nugget. Okay, let's go grab that. Yep. Boop. There's that iron nug that I need. And now let's go craft our axe so we can chop stuff down. Yeah, I made an axe. Now we can freely chop down all the trees if we want. Let's take care of these bad boys. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to you in a minute. First, I want these tickets. There are bell vouchers. Ooh. Goes to show you that I've never actually gotten a bell voucher before. Hi, cat. Rover. You made it to the goal, huh? Hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, sorry. I must have been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyway? Uh, Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me, not because he deserted me on the stranded island. <laughs> you know what I meant. You told me to put together a very interesting attraction on this island, and I should check it out. I didn't expect to find a maze. Mwahaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
So now I have to utilize my resources to keep one extra orange, a total of three at the end, to unlock those rocks. Great. All right, so right now I have all the ingredients for the axe, and I have my orange to access me to the axe, and I can see the three oranges that I keep for the end game. So the trick is to not hit this tree right here over here on the left, because you're like, oh, it's great, you know, you use one orange and you get two oranges back, but nope, that's a trap. That is a trap, my friends. By the way, when I reset the map, I did get Rover's briefcase back, so apparently that's like a key item that you keep. I'm, I'm assuming you keep the bell vouchers, or they exchange them here, I don't know. Oh, there's five here. Nice. If the love of Nook's ever-flying toothbrush, did you soar through the entire maze, Austin John? I did! Way to sort through, you have to let old Nook know. Oop, put an air brake on. Seems you have something on you these pilots' eyes have never seen before. Let me get this straight. You got it from someone who just happened to be hovering around this island? Well then, Dodo Airlines will proudly deliver your prize to your home. Same goes for any bill vouchers you may have acquired. Oh, great. Dodo Airlines. And remember, if you ever at a loss, what would Dodos do? Nook Shopping. Some wonderful new seasonal offerings are in stock. Neat. Yay, and I got 4,000 bells from the Bank of Nook. That's not a lot of interest. So here's Rover's briefcase. Do I supposed to give this to Tom? Is that is that what's going on here? Crash Panda, I did the thing you wanted. Oh, I heard you took your Mayday tour. We spared no effort putting the event together. What do you mean you spared no effort? You got one cat to build the entire island for you. You are all about indentured servitude, aren't you? It was not super amazing. Oh, perhaps that sort of activity isn't necessarily your speed, huh? I do hope it brought the tiniest smile to your face, though. Yes, yes, that was my intent after all. I also heard you managed to make your way through the maze. Maybe it was too easy for an adventurer of your skill, huh? Well, I'm just happy you had a good time. Also, how do I redeem bell vouchers? Oh, I guarantee these are going to be two trending Google topics. Uh, so Rover's briefcase is just a decoration and serves no purpose whatsoever. And I sell bell vouchers to the Nooklings. Oh, you're wearing the Zelda hat and it matches your yellow really nicely. Nooklings, I would like to sell you these, these redemption vouchers. 27,000 bells. That ain't bad. I have the perfect place for it too. We're gonna take Rover's briefcase and it's gonna go right next to this telephone booth. So it's like a businessman and they left their briefcase outside of the telephone booth. Golly, do I love this little cafe area. I replaced the two tables that were there with antique mini tables and I love them there. And let's head on down here to our playground because now we have our jungle gym. Oh, this isn't three by three, this is two by two. I thought this was much larger. Okay, that's fine. Well then, it fits even better. Nice. But now we could go visit my new my new favorite villager. First, let's dress the part. Hi there, Lucky. Oh, your bandages are so much cleaner than mine are. I'm all done moving. You were right, this island is real neat. I'm real darn excited to live on plays. I want to play with everybody. But first, Rouch. I gotta get unpacked. Aw, his catchphrase is Rouch, because he's a dog. And because he's in pain. But we love him. Oh, poor Lucky. He's so happy, though. So, shout out to Zoe Two Dots for giving me my first blue rose. And that's all the roses complete. I have my purple tulip that's just cloning right now, so I have a second one. I still need to breed mums. I'm just cloning more black cosmos and purple pansies, and then we're done. So I just have that little bit cloning. I have this breeding down to make hybrid yellows, which are special here, which these have a very low chance of giving me a green. These have a much higher chance of giving me a green. Oh, I don't need to breed these anymore, because <laughs> I already have two. Well then great. So yeah, I'm just cloning black co cosmos because I want to put two up here. Uh, those are purple tulips. I don't need to clone blue roses, although blue roses are dope. And I'm still trying to use, these are hybrid reds, and these are hybrid reds bred from rare island oranges. So I'm still trying to get a blue rose naturally. I may end up scrapping all that once I have my purple mums and I'm done with this area, but 
we're almost done with our flower braiding, which is phenomenal. It's been such a huge, huge help inviting people over for watering. Like, dramatically better. I guess I could also get rid of these reds sometime because... Oh look, more blacks, yay. Now that May is here, there is a bunch of new bugs and fish that we can all catch, which is really fantastic. Uh, if you've been traveling to the Southern Hemisphere for my fellow Northern Hemisphereers, there's less things that you can catch that are brand new, but still a bunch of new things. So I made my, uh, my what used to be a Google Sheet, but now it's just a checklist that you download from Mediafire. I'm gonna have that linked in the description down below. Ooh, that looks new. Like I said, been to the Southern Hemisphere, so I've seen some things already. There's also frogs in ponds. Hey look, it's a pond skater. One of the brand new bugs for the season. They are not easy to see, are they? Yeah. But oh boy, I think the pond skater would make scorpion spawns even harder because the pond skaters, just like the giant water bugs, would fill up the water bug cap. Oh, look at that. It's the diving beetle. They really zoom me, don't they? Damn it. <laughs> I think it's fast. Got you. Diving beetle. As soon as I stop recording. There we go, that's the nibble fish, which looks a lot like a loach, just smaller. <laughs> and as we can clearly see, I have not been keeping on track with where I'm placing down my bridges on time. So, so far new, I have the scorpion, the nibble fish, and the great purple emperor. There's a bunch of more butterflies, but I'm pretty sure they don't spawn when it is raining out. So looking over all of the fish and bugs that I still have to catch for the season, or for this month, I should say, I need a frog from a pond, which is a size two, and I don't have a lot of ponds, so I'm gonna do my little life hack and convert some of my river areas into ponds. So you remember forever ago where I had that little trick that I would section off a river into little ponds? I don't think that works anymore. Okay, so the trick does still work to make a river into a pond. You just need to make them very small. They can't be like, very long strips of pond. What's that big boy? Oh, that's gonna be a carp. No, thank you. You're also a carp. And then you can definitely tell if it's a river or a pond by the flow of water. So I am going to keep this just like this sectioned off because tonight at 4 p.m. I'm going to be able to get catfish size four in ponds, which is great. Are you gonna be another frog? Another froggy boy? Nope, but you're a tadpole, which is definitely a pond spawn. So even if it's next to a bridge, it could still be a pond. Okay, it just needs to be really shaped like a pond. You're not gonna be able to just cut off a river from waterfalls and mouths of the ocean and then consider it a pond. It needs to be shaped like a pond. Ah, now we're learning things. Blathers, I have things for you. Great, that's it. Okay, bye. So there's only five things I need to get for the month. The catfish, the angelfish, which are after 4 p.m. There is the Queen Alexandria's bird wing, which is flying from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The violin beetle and the Roselia batassi beetle, which are on both on tree stumps. I don't like killing my trees, so we're gonna fly to a destination island, hopefully get all three of these. Well, it's raining, so we're not going to be getting ourselves the butterfly. But, if we chop down the tops of all these trees- Oh no, no, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. Why aren't they moving? What's going on here? That was so weird. That was so, so weird. You know what? I'm not too sure that, uh, stump bugs will spawn on days that it's raining. I don't even know if this is a thing. I thought it was, but I haven't seen one yet. Not even like the common long hair, long ear, horned citrus beetle, whatever it's called. Fine. Looks like I'm heading back to my island. I'm chopping down one tree and I'm despawning and respawning that same one stump over and over. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, it's raining on my island too. Looks like I'm not getting any more bug spawns <laughs> until it stops raining. Hi Drago. How you doing today, buddy? Oh man, you surprised me. You got stung by a wasp, didn't you? Oh yeah, I forgot that. I just want to chat. 
Have you met the new neighbor yet? I'm gonna grab my best snacks and swing on by to say, hey, uh, welcome. Wanna taste this? I heard once that's the nicest way to say hello. You are so right, Drago. And I'm so happy that you want to be friends with Lucky. There's there's nothing you could say that can make me happier. Uh, I, I'm gonna go eat lunch, and hopefully when I come back, it's no longer raining. My lunch didn't take as long as I thought it would. I had myself a nice Taylor ham, egg, and cheese. Salt, pepper, ketchup on everything bagel toasted. Nice classic New Jersey brunch. If you're unfamiliar with Taylor ham, that is a brand of pork roll. And in North Jersey, people tend to ask for their pork roll by brand name, being Taylor Ham. And in South Jersey, they are more lenient with their brands of pork roll. If you're the kind of person who asks for your cured hams and meats by brand name, then yeah, Taylor Ham. If you're indifferent and you don't mind having some garbage in you, go for it. Pork roll. Trash Panda. We need to move some houses and build some bridges. Quick little update on the villager circle. I continued laying down all the independent pathways, and I think for places like here, I'm just gonna put down some of those neat little bushes. I think that'd be really nice. I wanna keep the grass bottom. Along the outside, definitely have to put some fencing. I don't know what kind yet. Julia is moving here tomorrow from right up here, which is going to clear this space being the last empty space, and Lucky is gonna be moving here. Well, we initiate it tomorrow, but on the 3rd, it's gonna be done. And then on the 3rd, we're gonna have all the villagers in their proper plots, which means that on the 4th, we're able to move the Able Sisters up here, and then we'll be good. Meaning like, you know, on the 3rd, we initiate it, on the 4th, it's done. Then, finally then, we can decorate this area and all these independent pieces and ugh, everything. Everything, everything. No idea what I'm putting here. <sighs> nope, no idea whatsoever. I actually think it's time that we put down the pathway right here going out to the beach. Okay, Bertha had a little, little cloud above her head and she said that she says bloop all the time and she noticed it. And since I'm noticing it myself, I guess I've gotten self-conscious, be honest. What do you think of my catchphrase? Can I change it up? I mean, I love calling you Bloop, but if I choose change it up, what's my option? Maybe I could ask you to think of a newer, better catchphrase for me. I get to write this? How many characters do I have? Not a lot. <laughs> uh, this is the first time I've been asked to invite, invent a catchphrase. I don't know. What up? Did I get that right? How can I help you? What up? <laughs> I like that. I haven't had a talk with Austin Ano yet, have you? I hope we meet soon, what up? <laughs> I don't know why I find this hysterical. Oh, I should have done it, my dude. Bro, opportunity missed. I did find two lilies of the valley that were growing up here, which I somehow completely overlooked, which is nice. I almost have one full ring of lily of the valley complete. That's awesome. I've decided I was going to build my first ever. <laughs> Perfect. That's beautiful, right? It's a beautiful incline right there. My first ever steel incline. Because I think, hey, it's next to the ocean. Want to make sure it's going to be resistant to, you know, stuff, water, salt water. I don't know. I might do something with this to either expose it more or hide it more. I've gotta wait till it's built for me to determine how much I like it or not. After Lucky's house has moved, we're gonna be able to start working on this area, which is gonna be the memory garden, which is now gonna be much larger than it was before. Also, this river I'm gonna have sprout and come out and go north, so it's gonna kind of hug the cliffside up here which I think is going to be really awesome. I'm going to have a lot of trees, so it's going to be super thick. And, like, you can only access it one way. We're really, really going to take this area and really woodsify it. Same thing with the Mallard Pond down here, which I'm thinking about possibly making it taller and do, like, a little piece of island in the middle for fishing. And then maybe a bridge at the top and the bottom of it, which would be neat. I need to get myself more decoy ducks. I love the way this looks so far. And after the Able Sisters move, which are over here, after the Able Sisters move, 
we're going to be able to fill this in for more campsite and ah, uh, it's going to be glorious. Then after we figure out on how the weeds work more efficiently, we can uh we can finally get rid of some of the color and make it a little bit more woodsy and overgrown. You think out of all these fossils I'm going to have one new one that I don't already have? Blathers? Ooh. Wow. First time I've seen that text in a while where he's like, there's something here that I don't have already. Ooh, two things. The dinosaur track and the Othalmo torso. Nice. This just means that I need the bronchio skull and the Quetzal torso. One of my friends sent me a bone door plate and it's a little white bone that says welcome. Oh my God, that's going to be so beautiful on Lucky's house. Someone also sent me Playground Gym. Ooh, this one's so much better than mine is. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is so much better. So much better. Can I climb on that? Ooh, I can sit on that. Ooh, a hot pink couch. This is definitely a different pink than I have, isn't it? I have like a light faded pink. That's like a, wow, super bright pink. What if I just made this like, the most mismatched box sofa couch possible. <laughs> That'd be very Brooklyn, Brooklyn cafe. What? Door decoration should go on my front door. Am I, am I not allowed to decorate another villager's door? Shep, just the person I need to see. Got something for you. What's the latest? This is for you. A paw print door plate. I've always wanted something like this. It's weird that you knew. It's really gonna snazz up the place. Chef, it's been literally one minute. Why haven't you put it on your door yet? But you know what? While it's still raining, and it doesn't look like the rain is gonna be going away anytime soon, I'm not gonna be getting those additional bugs. And I wanna give this video out a little bit earlier than normal so everyone can experience their May Day, and you can see me experience my May Day. Well, great. Guys, I'm wrapping up this video. Thank you so much for checking out Animal Crossing 31 with me, Austin John Plays. Hit the like button and have yourself a fantastic day. Bye.